Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com and Muscle and Brawn Nutrition CEO. So guys, I want to talk about fuck around itis. I was watching a video from Jason Blah. I was kind of messing around on YouTube just looking at recommended videos. And a video from Jason Blaha came up about from about a year ago, and it was talking about fuck around itis. And Jason was addressing criticism that his training programs or recommendations were too minimalist. Now, this is something I've been through many, many times over the years. Back around 10 years ago, 9, 10 years ago, when I got on the internet and started posting on forums, I started posting more minimalist, full body, upper, lower programs. This was before a lot of the guys, before full body work and frequency training had become popular. I was encouraging naturals to seek a more minimalist approach, more of a base building approach to get their strength levels up. And I was highly criticized at that time because I was one of the few voices that was talking about this sort of training. But Jason was talking about the criticism. People were saying that his training style was too minimalistic, minimalist, and he was taking you know hits about it. So I wanna talk about this subject a little bit. If you are weak, if you are relatively weak, you haven't made it to a 275 pound bench press, a 350 pound squat, um, at least a 425 pound deadlift, then you probably have a case of fuck around itis. Now, I'm not trying to be critical and I'm not trying to bully you or make you feel guilty, but you have to take a long look at your programming. You have to take a long look at your programming. Do you go into the gym and put the first 70 to 80% of your effort into heavy compound movements? If not, you probably have a case of fuck around itis. You might go in and do compound movements, but you are still weak at these movements. You should be doing them more frequently. You should be squatting twice a week. Um, you should be on a more aggressive bench press program with some form of progression. You should be going after deadlift strength hardcore, but instead, a lot of the guys who are still weak, they aren't attacking these lifts. They aren't spending the first 70 to 80% of their training day attacking heavy compound movements. They generally, generally have fuck around itis. So go into the gym and do maybe one compound movement, and then they'll do leg curls and do cable flies, and they'll do front delt raises, and they'll do everything but the real challenging movements. And then they have a body that looks like shit. They have strength levels that are weaker than the average female that I train. And they wonder why they come to me and they wonder why they can't see results. You, you prob, if this sounds like you or the buddies you have in the gym, you have a case of fuck around itis. You need to totally revamp the way you approach training. You need to go in and attack the heavy compound movements. They need to be the meat and potatoes of your program, the first two to three movements every day. And you probably need to train at least with an upper-lower split. You need to get your base strength levels up. Until you can get your base strength levels up, you're wasting too much time. You're fucking around too much on isolation exercises. Yes, isolation exercises can be good. But if you aren't putting 70 to 80% of your energy and your time into compound movements, building strength in those movements, you are wasting your time the first couple of years of training. Guys that have been training for four or five years who don't have a quality strength base aren't going, you aren't going to see much more of a muscle increase if you do all these complicated programs that focus 70 to 80 percent on isolation and machine and cable and bullshit movements. These movements do have their place, but you need to focus, you need to turn your focus from the 70 to 80 percent on bullshit lifts and place that 70 to 80 percent on heavy compound movements. 
If you do that and you attack progression, meaning you use an intelligently structured progression approach, and you do this for two years, your strength levels are going to come up, your base muscle mass is going to come up, and you will cure yourself of fuck around itis. Don't be one of these guys. If your results suck, it's time to just set down that fuck around itis book. Set set down most isolation exercises and focus your energy on heavy dumbbell and barbell compound movements. Do this, attack progression, remain consistent, be persistent, get hungry, and you are going to build quality muscle mass. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I would appreciate the support. If you have any questions, guys, you can leave them in the comments section below. The best questions I'll turn into videos just like this. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.